In this short video, we'll show you how to use your Minnesota Forest Industries Let's Make Paper paper making kit. Here's what the kit includes. Pulp newly made from wood, wood chips, a plastic screen, a sponge, pressing paper, a cardboard sheet, and a sample of handmade paper to show what the kit paper should look like when the job is done. Now, other supplies you'll need. A large container at least with two gallon capacity, a beverage cooler, a small ice chest works well, a clean half gallon milk carton, a large telephone book or magazine, warm water, an electric iron, a large mixing spoon, and a cup. All right, here's what you do to prepare to make paper. First, plug in the iron, utilize the cotton or high setting. Place the magazine or telephone book in a convenient position for ironing. Lay the gray cardboard piece on top of the magazine. This will prevent dyes from seeping through. Lay the sponge down near the magazine or telephone book. Remove about half of the pulp from the bag and place it in the milk carton. Then fill the carton three quarters full with warm to hot water. Close the top of the carton and shake vigorously for about a minute. Then pour the dissolved pulp into the large pan or beverage cooler. Finally, remove the remaining pulp from the bag, place it in the milk carton, again fill it three quarters full with warm or hot water, close the top and shake it as before, and set that aside for later use. All right, here are the steps to making paper. First, stir the pulp slurry. That's the soupy mixture made from the hot water and the pulp. Stirring, make sure the fibers are evenly spread. Hold the plastic screen, smooth side up, and dip it gently all the way down to the bottom of the slurry without letting the screen bend. While keeping the screen stretched out flat, make a side-to-side -side action as you slowly lift it up out of the slurry. Just make sure the pulp is spread evenly. If not, dip it in and try again. Next, when you've raised the screen, Tilt it a little bit and let the water run off a lower corner for a few seconds. Third, place the screen down flat on top of the sponge. Then lay the pressing paper down on top of the screen. Press down so the extra water can be pressed into the sponge. Now you may have to remove the sponge and wring it out to allow it to absorb additional water. What you're trying to do is get the water out of the pulp through the screen and into the sponge. Then after placing the cardboard on top of the magazine or phone book, lift the screen carefully from the sponge and lay it down on top of the cardboard. Fourth, pressing. Use an electric iron to press out the rest of the water. It's helpful to press down on the iron, putting force on it to press even more water out of the paper. In addition, it's helpful to flip the paper over, screen in all, and iron from that side as well. Once you've completed the ironing process and the pulp is completely dry, remove the pressing paper. Now, carefully remove the newly formed sheet of paper by running a finger between the screen and paper. And you've done it. You've made a piece of paper. Further ironing will make it easier to write on. Now to make more, wring out the sponge and start again. After making about five sheets, add a cup of the fibers from the milk carton. Shake it up first, of course, but there should be enough pulp in the kit to make about 30 sheets of paper. And there you have it. You've made paper with Minnesota Forest Industries Let's Make Paper paper making kit.